What if Beerus woke up early? How would this change the story? And stay tuned. Our story would take place on the dying planet Namek. Goku was fighting full power Frieza in his full power state, as it was a grueling battle. Remember, Goku was proving too much for Frieza. As people remember, Frieza's stamina issue was prominent, so he was just getting weaker and weaker. So the same exact fight would go down, but this time, this is when the entire story would change. As while earlier, Beerus awakens, summoning Whis, who was surprised, saying you're supposed to be asleep for another 10, 12 plus years. But Beerus shrugged it off as he had a dream of a Saiyan God, a true rival who can match him. As we would then check if there was if there was any Saiyans, but he says that there's only two Saiyans currently alive right now. One full-blooded Saiyan, aka Goku, and one half Saiyan, his son Gohan. As Vegeta's still dead right now, until Goku shortly brings uh, all the people back shortly after Whis is done checking. So, you know, realistically it's only two Saiyans and then Gohan. But then Whis would say that they're fighting Frieza currently on planet Namek, as Beerus would want to go right away because he's shocked how his Saiyan is able to fight Frieza. They take off, and then they've been watching Goku's battle with Frieza a little after he became a Super Saiyan. As Beerus was interested, Whis explained the Super Saiyan form to Beerus, but it wasn't no Super Saiyan God, but he was defeating Frieza, which was no small feat at all. As the fight would end with Goku killing Frieza the same way, like the original, but this does, but this time, Beerus appeared. As Goku doesn't know who this being is, or anything, Beerus explain it does not matter right now and that he is his next threat and to attack him. Goku stated that there is no reason. The plan is about to blow up at any moment now, but then Beerus has an idea in his head. Beerus would then hit Goku away, stunning him, as Goku knows this being is even stronger than Frieza, but he can't sense his energy. But remember, Beerus has an idea in his head as he's been watching. Through anger, his Saiyan grows stronger. Beerus said that he commands Frieza and it was funny seeing his little bald friend be destroyed, <laughs> Quirlin, making Goku's power rise much more. I would say that his power level was on, in, in, in the official guide was 150 million as a Super Saiyan. With a rage boost like that, it would either shoot to 200, 250. I know that doesn't matter to Beerus, but you know, it's just something for me to say. Now, for a burst, by the way, it's not like that's his new power level. As he would hit Beerus with all he has, but it does absolutely nothing to him. He doesn't even block it, maybe with a finger. Beerus then one-shots Goku into his base as he was out cold. But then, the planet was just about to blow up. Beerus commands Whis to bring Goku to his planet, and Whis healed him as then Goku awakens in Beerus' world. But then as soon as he sees Beerus, he gets up in a fighting stance, who Beerus would calm him down, saying to Whis, saying it was all a lie, to see his true power. As Beerus would explain who he was to Goku, that he was the god of destruction of Universe 7, as Goku was in shock, asking why was Beerus there to begin with, you know, if he doesn't, you know, because Beerus would also probably say how much he did not like Frieza at all anyway, but you, you know what I mean, Goku would just be like, well then why are you being there? Well, at this point, Beerus would only respond saying that he saw two Saiyans were alive and you just unlocked Super Saiyan and defeated Freeze on your own, which isn't a small feat, as Beerus wants, wanted a true challenge. As Goku is now, it, as Goku how he is now, it wouldn't work out well. So Beerus wants to fight the Super Saiyan God, as Goku asks, well, what is that? And Beerus says, it's a Saiyan that possesses God Key, and Goku, and Beerus said, in the form that you showed, obviously, is not the form, and Goku doesn't know what it is either, but Beerus would then offer him to train with Whis to then access God Key so he can give Beerus a true match. As Goku with not much of a choice, plus also probably with a lot of excitement, as he sees a new opponent, he would agree as the training would begin. Now, two years would pass. So a few things would change. Freeze is dead. I mean, dead, dead, because Goku blasted him. And I'm gonna just say that in this what if that Frieza is like dead dead, but either way if Frieza came back, Trunks still goes back in time and kills him. So it's not like it really changes anything. I think I think that I think that the whole mecha Frieza thing to me is kind of ridiculous. But either way, Frieza's dead. But Trunks would come to give Goku the heart fire heart virus medicine and to one of the androids. Now, during these two years, I do believe that uh king kai, goku would tell king kai who would figure out where goku is to tell everybody that goku's okay he's with uh allies now who are helping him and he's training 
and Trunks would probably want to give Goku the heart medicine. Uh, King Kai would probably warn Goku about it, but Goku would said, well, I'm with this angel guy, and he can heal me, he said, so I'll be okay. So Trunks would, uh, w would warn Goku and everybody else about the androids that are becoming in about two, three years. So Goku now knows about the androids, and then Trunks would take his leave back to the future. So Goku would get the heart virus during the couple years' time, but Goku already was warned about it, and Whis would also notice it. And all Whis has to do is Whis would then aim his staff at him and just heal him, and then the heart virus is gone. Remember, Whis can bring people back from the dead, you know? Uh, he did it with Frieza and Dragon Ball Super and everything else like that. He's healed people from near-death situations. I think he could heal a simple heart virus. If not, Lord knows where that heart virus came from then, because that must be above an angel's ability. Goku's been training with Whis for years. I would say about two years max. But you know, since since the events of Frieza, about two to three years. So he is much stronger than he was before. Now at this point, he has mastered his Super Saiyan form, as Whis wanted him to learn that first, so he can get something to start on. And he has learned to access God Key. Goku can turn into the Super Saiyan God. Now, obviously, Beerus is still tired from waking up early, so Beerus said that he would be napping for a few more years. I would probably say another, like, four to five years he would probably be passed out, because because Goku, remember, he's not as strong as he was in the, in the later Buu Saga, not even close, so Beerus wants to give him more time, and also Beerus is tired, okay? Like, he just woke up, like, 12 years early, all right, and he needs his beauty sleep, you know, or else he'll be really grumpy. So... Goku has access to Super Saiyan, he learned to master it, and he has access to Super Saiyan God. Not Super Saiyan Blue just yet, but they are just starting to learn about that. So not yet, but very soon Goku will be getting it. Now, the few years have passed and Goku is ready to return home. Now Goku knows about the androids that are going to be coming out soon. Now Goku would keep tabs on everyone, you know, and you know make sure that everything's doing okay. He would tell everybody to train as hard as they can and all that stuff. But then, the androids would soon arrive. Now, by the way, real quick, just off topic, Goku does not have instant transmission, so he would have to travel with Whis. Because remember, he never left Namek on the on the Ginyu uh, space pod and met the Yardrats, so there's no instant transmission for Goku, and no, I'm not gonna, you know, plot pull that, oh, Goku learned it from Whis. No, Goku does not have instant transmission. Now, the androids would soon arrive with Android 19 and Android 20. Same exact events will go down, but this time, Vegeta is a Super Saiyan, and he's the one who actually kills both the androids, unless Dr. Duro got away just in time to release Android 17 and 18. Uh, Vegeta would have the broken arm defeated, like, like very much like before, so he's pretty much over with. That is when Goku arrives in time with Whis. Remember, it takes Whis about 15 to 20 some minutes, as they would joke about it, saying it's as long as the Dragon Ball Super episode. So, yeah, it, you know, Whis travel takes a little bit. Now, Goku would then arrive, and the three androids, Android 17, 18, and Android 16, who are happy to see him because now they have their target. Now, real quick, I'm going to just elaborate. Goku is far more powerful than the androids now. Now he has God Key, he can add to his base. He, and this is me lowballing him. He's been training with Whis for almost three years solo. Very hard, you know, for the next up and coming androids. Goku at his base, this is lowballing him because remember, Goku is a natural at learning. He, he could easily be way stronger than what I'm about to say. His base as a low ball is as strong as Perfect Cell. That's not a far-fetched thing, because I could have easily made his base, oh, well, he's as strong as Super Boo is, or he's as strong as Kid Boo already. No, I'm going to say that uh, his base form and everything is as strong as Perfect Cell or Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Then you also got to add in his Super Saiyan form. He does not have Super Saiyan 2, but he does have Super Saiyan, Master Super Saiyan, and Super Saiyan God. So, the androids would go down, Goku would easily defeat them. N not even worth a sweat. As he, w knowing Goku, he would give them a chance to leave and never return. Remember, 17 would attack Goku, as 17 was a bit more cocky back then. Goku was no joking, he would shoot a Kamehameha, killing him, alongside Android 16. Now, I gotta have my boy Krillin have Android 18, okay? Y'all gotta understand this, okay? I can't have Android 18 not die. Um, so to add this to the story, 
Goku was going to kill Android 18, but Krillin said no. Remember, Android 18 already flirted with Krillin and tried to kiss him and stuff like that. So, and so, and Krillin knows that they're not all bad. So Krillin would say to not kill her. Remember, Android 18 just lost her brother and everything, and she cannot defeat this opponent. So she would probably just run, run, run away. I mean, there's nothing else she can do. So she would run away, and she would soon fall in love with Krillin. So don't worry, their relationship is okay for anybody who likes their relationship or likes Android 18. And also doesn't want Krillin to be single. Now, Cell would still be born, but problem is he wouldn't be finding Android 18 because she's not causing chaos. And as well, Goku would find Cell sooner or later because Cell would start absorbing people. Cell would soon find out that Android uh, 17 and 16 are gone. And well, he's not absorbing 16, but you know what I mean. And he would be absorbing bodies and killing people. Goku would find out, fly to him very quickly, and, and a fight would probably go down between them, but Cell has zero chance still, and Goku would obliterate him. So, peace was restored for now. But that's it for this what if. I will be doing more parts as things will be changing a lot now that Beerus is here. I do want to make this what if unique so a lot of the story arcs are going to be changing here and there in terms of the characters, the forms, and the villains. So please stay tuned because the Boo Saga is going to be a little bit more different in terms of who Boo is going to be absorbing and other stuff. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video and I will talk to you all later.